maybe freshman year in high school, I broke my ankle skateboarding. I just had nothing to do. And I just took up rapping and I just kind of started taking it serious. So I started making my own beats to rap on. Went to college for music production at LA Recording School. And that's where I really learned, you know, Ableton and like the music production side of things. And I just kind of fell in love with it. I definitely, I prefer being more behind the scenes. The people who impact me most, cause I'm kind of just in like the lo-fi hip hop space. Really like Jay Dilla, the way his drums are just like not on beat, you know what I'm saying? The swing, that is really what influenced what I do. Cause always and forever, drums will be like the main thing that kind of gets me going and gets me into the groove of things. When I got into the streaming world and putting my music out on Spotify, um, you know, a few songs took off on like social, you know, Twitter, TikTok, and like within days, the views, the streams, everything was just skyrocketing. When you come from like where I come from, where people are doing, you know, illegal things to get money or they're just, you know, working a dead end job for the rest of their life. For me, it was just like the greatest feeling ever, honestly. I like to go outside, make music in my backyard or go to a park, go to a beach. I'm not bringing the Ableton push to the beach. So I definitely bring the Orba to the beach because it's, you know, super easy to do that. Switching up the device I'm making music on forces you to make music in a different way. Someone like me, I'm not trained, I'm not a trained pianist. It's so like things like Orba, there's like a chord mode on it, and you just literally, you're just pressing these buttons and it's generating the chords. If you're a pro in the field, like, this is still something fun for you to use, for you to just kind of switch up what you're doing. But also if you're a beginner, like if you don't know music theory that well, you can just pick the key and kind of just go. It's not like anything else. It's not a keyboard, it's not like a beat pad. It's just this little ball. <laughs> so you can get really creative with it portably. That's what I like about it for sure. Nice. Sweet, man. All right. <laughs>